Right then, let's get this bad boy put into Flash. So, to do that, we're going to go File, Import, and I'm going to import to Library. And then, it prepares to import. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Yay! I've just put it on the desktop. So there it is, Peter Griffin Christmas. Open. Right, and I can see that I've got my audio file just there, like I did with the Simon Cowell thing. Um, there's Peter Griffin. So what I need for that is another new layer. So I'm going to rename that audio. Lovely. Right, um, I need to get a few frames um, done there. So we'll just go for the first sort of 10 seconds. And I'm going to press F5 to put in a frame on um, frame 120. So that goes all the way to the end now. And then that means I can put my audio on that layer. So I believe what I need to do to do that is drag it onto the stage. I do. And as you can see, the waveform shows up. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now if I play that, I either will be able to hear it or I'll be able to hear it in a minute when I change the settings. Okay. So I've paused it, but it's still playing. And that's because... Um, I need to change the properties of this audio. So I'm going to click on it and then go to properties up here. And at the moment, it's an event and I need to change it to stream. Okay, and that means that now when I play it, if you can hear that, when I move around, I can hear what's going on. When I play it and stop it, it stops. So that's how you need to set up your audio. Okay, so now we've got that we're ready to get some animation done. What we're going to do first is just change um, a couple of things and then we can work through the scene. So I'm just going to put the head and the body uh, I'm going to put some frames on frame 120 for those. So body, I'm just going to go on that layer at 120 press F5. I'm going to do the same for the head um, and then that at least gives me something to mess with. In fact I need the eyes to stay there as well. Um, so left eye is this layer, F5, right eye is that layer, no nope, that's eyeball, then that must be eye, F5. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for now and then we're going to have a look at actually animating this in the next video.